Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Today we're just going to do a quick unboxing and overview of a bucket list rifle that I finally decided to go ahead and purchase. Uh, found a great deal on one, brand new, ordered it online. And it's actually part of a movie gun build that I'm working on. Now if you follow me over on Patreon, I've been showing off various parts that I've been picking up for this movie gun build that I'm going to do. And once it's all together, I'll do a separate video on it. But I just wanted to show you what you get when you pick up this particular carbine. All right. So what we have here is the Daniel Defense M4A1. And first off, you get a really nice hard case with it from Daniel Defense. This is a nice proper hard case, basically transportation grade. You've got the lock holes on it. It's a nice sturdy plastic. It almost feels like it's a Plano. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who makes it for Daniel Defense, but it's a possibility. Let's get the stickers out of there. So the M4A1, I decided I wanted to go with something that had somewhat of a, a military heritage or pedigree to it. And the M4A1 has been used by SOCOM for about oh, 15 years now or something like that. I want to say it was maybe 05 when they adopted this rifle. And this is what it looks like when it comes in the box. Okay, you get the carbine itself. You do get the 32 round Daniel Defense magazine. Looks like you get a thicker butt pad with it. So you have a little bit more cushion if you want it. Manuals in there, also have a sticker. I don't even see a gun lock. Yeah, it's fine with me. All right, so when you get the rifle, what's cool about the M4A1, it's got the flat dark earth handguard, and I think it's called a RIS2, RIS2 guard or handguard, handrail. Can't remember exactly off the top of my head. Um, this is a 14 and a half inch barrel that's been pinned and welded, so it makes, it makes the 16 inch minimum length for ATF standards, so it's not considered an SBR. It's got the Daniel Defense furniture on it. Again, I just got back from driving back from the uh, the gun dealer, so I'm a little bit tired, so I can't remember the names of all the parts. I believe it's the grip and rip charging handle. Now, for the movie gun build that I'm doing, I'll be putting a standard mil spec charging handle on there and some vintage, I call them vintage, SOCOM parts. It's like they tuck a tag in there just to make sure that it, that it hasn't been used. You got the nice cushions on the sides. Now, these are going to come off also because I'm going to be putting some different uh, handguard cushions in there that match the booby gun build. You know what, let's go ahead and turn this around real quick. One thing that really surprises me about this is just how light it is. Maybe it's just the slightly st shorter barrel, saves a few ounces off of it. The handguard is just not nearly as heavy as I thought it was going to be. It does feel solid. You do have the uh, ambidextrous safety, which is nice. Obviously, you got the forward assist. I mean, the lower, you know, it does look like a lot of the other mil spec lowers that I featured on the channel. But uh, Daniel Defense has wonderful quality. Everything's done properly. And I was trying to go for that mil spec build. I know this is real professional, but real quick, here are the features that you get with the gun. This will help justify the cost. You've got the cold hammer forged barrel. You've got the chrome molly vanadium steel or stainless steel barrel if you go with the Mark 12 build. Uh, mil spec heavy duty phosphate coated and chrome lined. Uh, Daniel Defense muzzle device. Bolt is made from Carpenter 158 steel. Uh, chrome line carrier and gas key properly state gas key. Uh, handguard is the DD free floating rail system. It is 6061T6 aluminum. The modular rail interface for mounting accessories, uh, DD low profile rail covers, and DD vertical grip. And then on the lower receiver, it is mil spec 7075T6 aluminum, uh, beveled and flared magazine well, uh, Daniel Defense mil spec trigger group components, uh, DD, let's see, rear receiver, QD, ambi swivel attachment points, uh, over molded DD pistol grip and collapsible DD buttstock. Uh, let's see here, uh, mil spec H buffer, buffer spring, and receiver extension. You do have a lifetime guarantee on it. Uh, this one was built on October 7th, which is pretty cool. Just recently, um, it's November 11th right now, if I'm not mistaken. And you can tell they've got the initials of the people that built the gun. So again, you know, there's a lot of features here you can find on other ARs, but this has everything that I was looking for in one package. Now price-wise, um, MSRP on these, it's $2,046. And uh, because YouTube's a little bit funny about mentioning prices and who you bought it from, I'll just tell you that I paid about 25% less than MSRP, okay? Uh, if you look online and do some pricing like go over to gun.deals and type this, type this carbine in, you'll be able to find it, and you shouldn't have too much trouble narrowing it down to the cheapest place to buy it from. There's a lot of places that have this gun for sale, and uh, they're definitely coming back in stock, okay? So again, this is just a little quick take of the Daniel Defense M4A1. I believe it does have a chrome line barrel. I don't remember what the rate of twist is, 1 in 7, 1 in 8, 1 in 9, I'm not sure. We are going to test it out with some 55 grain ammo and maybe pick up some 62 or some 77 grain, run some really high quality stuff through it. It does have the standard mil spec trigger, but take it apart and clean it before I take it out to the range, obviously. 
but uh, just wanted to show it off. So very, very cool gun. So stay tuned on the channel. We'll give you more details and we'll eventually show this off with all the parts attached to it. Um, exactly what it's going to look like when it's ready to go. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys. So this is Travis P11. Uh, please like and subscribe. Make sure you check out my little podcast called Caliber Corner. It's a podcast that we do on Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Central Time. We talk guns and ammo. Uh, mash that bell, like, and subscribe. In the meantime, I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.